In this episode I'm going to show you how to make a torchlight that glows around a candle and I'm also going to attach one to the player so that when we walk into the darkness our player lights up. I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. So what's coming from Oof My Soul? Hey. Can you make a tutorial on how to make a torch that sticks to the player when it's dark? Hey guys, before we get started, just a quick shout out to myself. I've got a game jam coming up, Xander Jam 3, Spring Jam. If you want to take part, there's a link in the description. I will endeavor to play every game submitted on the channel. If there are too many games, I will pick the best games from the jam and give them a special playthrough on the channel when the jam has ended. Also, you can win a spot on the Xander Jam Leaderboard Hall of Fame for the rest of eternity or until such a time the YouTube channel becomes obsolete whichever comes first. As always, a special shout out to my Patreon, James Welch, for supporting my game dev journey. If you want to become a Patreon and get shout outs on all my videos and access to all my music and art assets and source files to the games that I make, then you can click the link in the description and head on over and see what that's all about. So what I've got set up over here is my basic layout with my guy. There's nothing special about the guy. All I have is a D and W to simulate right, left and jump. And I've given him a platform behavior. I have over here just a pole, which is nothing more than just a sprite that looks like this. And I have a particle effect, which looks like a little fire. If you don't know how to make particle effects, I have a tutorial on particle effects. I'll put a link on the screen right now. Go check it out if you're not sure how to make particle effects that look like fire. I've covered it in that tutorial. Okay, so there's a few things we need to do in order to make this work. Now, notoriously, Construct 3 is awful for lighting effects, but there are a few workarounds if you know what you're doing. The first thing we need to do is add a new layer. So right click on the layers, add a layer to the top, and I'm gonna call this darkness. With the darkness layer selected, come on over to the properties and we want to make it transparent then we want to click on the little background color and make it black and we want to head over to the uh, opacity and change that to 60% to give it a nice dark feel now if we play we'll see everything is plunged into darkness there's a little fire working over there but that's not quite what we want we need to make another sprite so double click double click on sprite click anywhere you can leave it at the default uh, size, or you might want to change it depending on the size of your game. For my game, I'm going to leave it on the default size. I'm going to go to the paintbrush tool. Make sure the hardness is right down at zero. Make sure the opacity is about 50%, 40 to 50%, and then click on a size, whatever you want really to fill the window. Just click once in the middle, so it's nice and faint, and then leave it at that. Then with it selected, come on over to the properties panel again, and under effects where it says blend mode, change that to destination out then I'm going to reposition this right over my little candle I'm going to resize it so it fits a little bit better and I'm going to give it a sign behavior just for added effect double click on sign over in the properties change it from horizontal to size change the period to 5 so I change the period to 2 and the magnitude to 5 now, if we play, that's going to give a little glowing pulse. We can actually probably we can intensify that a little bit more. If we, again, click on the, the little sprite that we just made, change the, oh, the magnitude was 2. Make sure the magnitude's on 5, make sure the period's on 2. And there we go. You can see it kind of pulsing in and out nice and subtly. If I change the magnitude to 10 and keep the period at 2, it means it's going to go faster and bigger. So you can see there's a kind of nice glowing effect around the candle, which it looks really, really nice. It's quite a nice little effect if you want to put that all over the place. Now we need half this world to be daylight. So let's double click and let's add a tiled background. Make sure you've got black selected, select the paint bucket tool, click anywhere, fill the whole thing in black. And now what we want to do is drag this over half the screen to make it daylight. I'll drag it all the way over to the edge of this block here. Then again on the effects under blend mode, set it to destination out. Now we've got light and day, so we can walk into the shadows and we can walk back out into the daylight. And we've got that nice little glowing effect around the candle. Now the last thing we need to do is add a little torch to this guy that switches on when we go into the darkness and switches off when we go out of the darkness. And the way we do that is by adding a sprite. Double click. 
the same way we did with the torchlight. Grab your little um, your paintbrush, select the size that you want, take the hardness right down, drop down the opacity, put a little click in the middle, and then I'm going to resize this, and I'm going to pop it, I think, right between the eyes. Let's rename it. I'm going to call it SPR underscore torch, just so we know what we're looking for in the event sheet. Head over to the event sheet. If you've got some basic controls programmed in, great. If not, get them programmed in. Click add an event and we're going to say system and we're going to say every tick and we're going to say sprite torch and we're going to set the position to the player dot x and on the y player dot y minus 16. So player dot y, if we look at the actual sprite that I have here, if I get rid of all of that, the you can see the image point is right here between his toes and the sprite size is 20. So 20 would be right at the top, so 16 is going to be right around the eyeball area just there. Now every tick that thing is going to stick to my eyeballs. So click it, head on over to blend mode, and if you guess destination out, give yourself a pat on the back, hit play, and there we go. There's our little torch guy. And when we come out into the daylight, we can no longer see it. Now let's go ahead and give that a sign behavior as well, just for consistency, because if one light source is pulsating, then in theory we should, just to keep consistency, have all of them do the same. So size for two, magnitude for 10. Magnitude is the distance, how big the movement's gonna be, and period is how quickly it transitions through that. And there we go, we're pulsating just like the torch over there. And that's how we add a torch to a player when he enters the darkness. If you've got an idea for a future tutorial, then drop a comment below. If you found the video useful, then please Hit the like button and consider subscribing, it really helps the channel. If you want me to keep making these tutorials, let me know, leave a thumbs up. And if you've got an idea for future Easy Game Mechanic tutorials, then please do leave a comment below. And if I can make them, I will. And until then, I'll see you in the next episode.